In this podcast, Beyond Borders editor Stuart Weinberg speaks with Barrick's Chief Sustainability Officer, Peter Sinclair. They talk about why Barrick developed this new vision, and Peter sets the stage for the company's first ever Sustainability Day event, which takes place May 9th in Toronto. Why are we holding this Sustainability Day? There's a number of reasons. We're calling it the Sustainability Briefing for Investors, and as you said, it's May 9th. Um, I'd say there's three main reasons we're having this. Um, One is that there's a clear demand for additional information on sustainability from our investors. That's uh, certainly an area of growing importance to our investor community. Two is we really would like to showcase some of the talent we have in the sustainability group and those that manage the issues related to our license to operate. And the third reason is we want to just highlight how integrated sustainability is into our business. I think if there's one thing that we'd like people who attend to take away, see very clearly that sustainability issues are very much part of our core business. You alluded to some of the people who are going to be speaking at the event. Maybe just highlight one or two in particular uh, that uh, people are going to see. We're going to have a combination of people in the room in person and people calling in from video. So we want to showcase some of the um, technology that we use on a day-to-day basis here at Barrick. Uh, Video conferencing is really integral to the way we communicate around the world now. Uh, So you're going to hear from Richard Williams, our Chief Operating Officer, and he's going to present his views of sustainability and how important it is to the operation, how integral it is to the operations. We'll hear from the Executive Director, uh, Manuel Fumagalli, and General Manager, Uh, Jim Whitaker from Peru. So we have this uh, structure which is quite unique where we have two partners effectively at the country level running the business, executive director and a GM. And we're going to hear from that couple from Peru. So that's, uh, they'll be calling in for that. We'll also hear from our vice president of water, vice president of environment, two critical issues that are of more increasing importance uh, the company and to and to our stakeholders. I should say Nancy Lockhart as well, who's the director and the chair of our Corporate Responsibility Committee of the board, uh, and she'll give, obviously give a board perspective and how sustainability fits into the priorities of the board uh, and how the governance system uh, operates in practice. Obviously, uh, an important topic at the event will be Barrick's new sustainability vision. Um, can you give us a sense of how it was developed? We wanted to create something a little bit different than we've had in the past, which was, we called it our corporate social responsibility charter. And uh, we wanted to really fundamentally change the paradigm and how we think about sustainability issues and how we deal with external relationships and partnerships. The industry is often viewed as one which extracts and takes minerals, takes away value from communities, from countries. Uh, We wanted to flip that on its head and we wanted to make sure that we had a vision that that was about creating value for communities, for leaving something behind in a positive legacy for communities and and for governments. So it was really around that theme um, that we developed this uh, new sustainability vision. Uh, It's about partnering with host governments and communities to transform their natural resources into sustainable benefits and mutual prosperity. Now we emphasize the word there in traditionally we've always said you know that's our deposit or our our mine or our gold and we really wanted to emphasize again part of this changing paradigm in the way we think that this is their deposit it's their resource and it's our role to work with them the communities and governments in order to transform that resource into something much more sustainable much more beneficial for all of us there are some principles underneath the vision itself, do you want to just give us a preview of what those say and, and, and just elaborate a little bit on those? There's five principles, sustainability principles. Three of them are really core and describe fundamentally what we do. One is about people and the environment first, and that that's, it speaks for itself. It means in every decision we make, we think about the environment, we think about people uh, to ensure their safety and, and the effective stewardship of, of the environment. The second is about transparent engagement. It's about how we interact as individuals and as representatives of the company. This is really inherent in a kind of new approach 
where we want to be much more open, we want to be much more engaged, we want to listen more. And the, the third is sharing the wealth. This is about sharing the benefits of mining, it's about local jobs, local contracts, paying fair share of taxes, making sure that we are part and parcel of the community and, and investing in that community uh, while we work there. The two other ones, one focuses on reducing, eliminating any major severe incidents, whether health and safety, any major environmental incidents or other significant incidents uh, in the community, let's say. The final principle is about innovating and a lot of the work we do these days as a company is focused and through the lens of innovation and through our digital transformation as a company so we're doing a number of things that are tied in with sustainability strengthen our sustainability and our license to operate uh, by innovating and doing things differently than we have in the past to learn more about our sustainability initiatives visit our website barrackbeyondborders.com Thank you.